Welcome to the Dope World News Podcast. Take it over your listening space, whether you're listening to us at www.overdoperproductions.com, yeah. the Apple Podcast app, yeah. Spotify, yeah. or where it benefits us the most, that? that's the Anchor app. I go by the BITB, that's the best of the business. And as soon as I step on the scene, you hear the hoochie screaming, press the... And you already know it's the nastiest nigga in the motherfucking world. The Patrice O'Neill of hip hop, better known as Zen. The zeitgeist to every motherfucking thing nasty. Who the fuck we got in here with us today, bro? Clearly, we got the go to engineering and producer Nirvana Nash. Highest in the room. And we also got the last born pimp on the motherfucking visuals, my nigga Titty Boy Nate. What's good, bro? What up, though? We also got our resident shooter and gamer C. What up? And we also got the motherfucking builder in the goddamn building. My nigga Jabril, what's good, bro? What up, though? Oh, shit, we made it another episode. 34 plus 35 equals 69. And that's a favor for a favor for all my mathematicians. Mm. Hey, what <laughs> Ariana Grande say? Can you stay up all night? Fuck me to the daylight. 34, 35. Bro, she literally it. said at the end, I really want a six with you. 69 with you. <laughs> remember, yeah, I, remember what I tell, we talked yeah. about this a couple weeks ago. The reverse 69 <laughs> with nigga on top, bitch on bottom. The worst one though is the holding up. 69. Oh, you 69. gotta be a strong nigga or gotta have a small bitch for that one. You no, know, she gotta be a good 90 pounder. She gotta be Ariana Grande. That yeah. shit. <laughs> yes. But just imagine uh, uh, a 6'5 nigga doing that shit. Doing the reverse, but doing the reverse 69 to on the bed. Man. Just 6'5 <laughs> legs on the 5'4 bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Imagine you having a bitch who could pick you up for the reverse 69. Man, 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 if man, man, if if man, if, if man, 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 so we're going to start with Erica Banks. Banks. Um, if you don't know her, she's from Texas, Houston, to be exact. Um, she is responsible for the lightning hot busted challenge. She's the artist who made the song. And um, this week, you know, niggas be in their bag. Well, women be in their bag on this internet. And she said, it's funny how people was t- saying she was copying Meg the Stallion and being who she's trying to be who Meg is and all that shit and now a couple weeks later all them same haters is on the internet doing her busted challenge and um basically and I think it was a tweet she said that you know they get compared to a lot but the people from Texas understand that they all got the same accent so sometimes you can come off sounding the same or you know you know how shit is when you a regional person so she basically you know is noticing now that it's a wave all her haters is on that wave. I think, uh, well, uh, it, it goes a little bit further than just the way they sound because she she signed to Carl Crawford, who Meg was signed to first as well. Um, kind of doing this, she, when she was starting, kind of doing the same type of freestyle thing, you know, how Meg was doing to show off that she had talent with, with, with bars and not just a gimmick girl, gimmick ass shaking rapper. Um, what? Do rap well, videos? Yeah, bars. I mean, for women. She she didn't rap as much about what she rap about now. It was definitely a little more toned down about the, 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 the Yeah. Bars. She was bitten itty bitty piggy. But I, I just when it goes to that, it's just like it's it's like a lot of people that stay it's they first hit. You gotta think, just T Grizzly when he was first doing first day out, it wasn't like popping like towards when it got to the end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where that bitch was just an anthem everywhere you went. Not, and not just in Michigan. That bitch was an anthem in Texas. That bitch was an anthem in, in Atlanta. Um, it was a song that, that something something he stole with the Rolly on. To, but nobody ever encapsulated yeah. making a first day out song. How well, you feel when you first get out? Well, you know yeah. What I'm that, well, I think Gucci Man had did it earlier on. He, um, I, like I was talking to Nirvana just briefly, bro, people go on these podcasts and these niggas get comfortable. It's not like how when you go sit on uh, Entertainment Tonight 
or you might be sitting on a uh, TMZ interview with it. These podcasts is more of an intimate space. And these artists and shit, they go on here and they get comfortable, bro. And they start saying some crazy shit. Black's ain't no artist, though. No, Black's but he, he still, he still, he a influ- he's still part of the hip hop fabric. He's still part of the hip hop fabric. And he got on million dollars worth of game and got real comfortable with Star Says. Some real Jay-Z crazy shit about Jay Z. He's the fakest thing. He looks from a fake page. Well, I can't lie to you. If I was a nigga not on the internet, I would, might have a little burner account that I'm looking at shit from. I'm just saying. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I think that takes discipline. So to KD not... get, get one, but Jay Z can't? Right. I ain't mad at that, but I think what Flex saying still could be true at the same time. Know. You know what I'm saying? saying? I think it still could be true because, like, Jay Z is petty, low key. Every time Nas drops something, here come Jay Z. And he failed this last time. So now it's like, you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z is petty as hell. He probably does give a damn and get or care. You know what I'm saying? But why though? If you if you this accomplished, you know what I'm saying, why would you still care? Do you feel like you don't deserve the accolades that you got because it's constantly being challenged? And the reason and if Jay-Z is bothered by it, like I said, Flex is not just some artist. Flex helped build hip hop. You know what I'm saying? One of the first radio stations, one of the first radio stations to play hip hop when hip hop was seen as a fad. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he wasn't one of them. He got right on There was a lot of niggas that was before that like on the radio. But, but I'm, they was on the radio. Megan Thee Stallion. I found out something interesting about her this week. It was totally yeah, surprised. No. <laughs> the shit was totally surprising yeah, because um, like I think somebody missed out on a bag. But Megan Thee Stallion once auditioned for Love and Hip Hop. God. And, but, <laughs> no, but her, her pitch, her pitch, like, you could tell by watching her that, like, this energy that she got now, she is meant to be a star. She is meant to be a star. Like, that shit was polished as I'm, fuck. I'm happy that she got to rap and didn't go there first because she would have been fighting nonstop. She was it, it was just, bro, her, she was hey, a doc. She well, talked to us. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, cause she was on there. I'm the Houston hottie. I'm the biggest. I'm the best female rapper. She was already that. Yeah. So and then a lot of them bitches be that, them hoes be short and they really can't fight yeah, fake man, asses. Some of them be ugly. Yeah, Probably nigga. Yeah. Sh- yeah, yeah. She would have been exactly what I had in my mind. She would have been ugly. Carly Red finer than the, than the bitch that fucked up her nose that on the poke titties off, bro. Their titties started leaking. Oh, she was asking Jock for that money for man, the titties because them yeah. titties was leaking. I think t- they said a lot of them bitches because they got them original ass jobs yeah, that they asses was leaking through so they dress. All them first generation man, bitches. Man, yeah. them basement ass jobs. They was ass getting ass Brazilian job. butlers. They was getting uh, cement. cement them, them bitches ass. was getting motherfucking the MLK Boulevard put up in the ass booty cheeks. Nigga, but <laughs> but I'm 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 very very happy for her because because that shit would have got up. She would have been a meme. She would have been a Jocelyn Hernandez type where people started to be afraid for her to be in the room with them because she was over dominant. You know. We gonna move on to news or not news. Um, I don't got the exact article because I forgot to save it last night. So I'm gonna just try to remember this shit a little bit off my head. Um. Intelligence just foiled a plan of somebody who is planning to fucking fuck up the inauguration coming up on the twentieth. Is that news or not news? No. Not news. This is America. Oh shit! Don't get this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that song wasn't news either. Why that nigga no, was dancing around, nigga, with his shirt off? Hey, I, I wanted to eat a banana the whole he time that song. Uh, yeah. Drake dance. That's why, you know, that's how I was dancing in them basement parties. If we gonna be quite honest. <laughs> oh, that out, out of body. Get out of, get that's out of your like, mind. <laughs> get out of your mind. Nigga, nigga, what? This was nigga, yeah, nigga, this was just weed. I didn't even drink then, bro. I, I would despise drinking. What was they calling the Afghan back then? Nigga, they was calling that shit regs. <laughs> Mexican brick weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and niggas want no niggas was calling. Oh, I got them gans. Oh, I, I got them gans. Or, or they when niggas said that they had the chocolate, the popcorn. Yeah, 
corn. The pop the corn. The corn. They start saying they had Cali and Pine Man, nigga, they had Cali weed. Niggas was, right. niggas, you know what that, all that was? Was niggas was getting a sack of regular weed and then putting orange peels in it, <laughs> acting like that shit was just enhancing the weed, That's bro. Like, the like they over here orange Man. Man. Like they don't fucking food network orange zest. Niggas putting orange Right, Cali orange, that shit was out here. Bro, though. Bro, because niggas, when niggas had that kush, originally it was all the same lemon haze type shit. And this shit was like. Purple was fake. Purple was regs with purple dye. Oh. That shit wasn't purple. Them niggas was just putting grapes in the bag. <laughs> they had one bag of orange peels, another bag of fucking red grapes in the weed. Oh, no, weed was better than 10 years ago. No, the hell it wasn't. Yeah, that's why Ludacris got on. Because that nigga decided to do shit like that. Ludacris was but, a perfect mix of that. The bars and then the club shit. I would agree. But... We had that fucking rating, man. Yeah, so the rating for King Glow's this week is a 75 even. Hey, I, I can live with that. I can live with that. Is that too high or is that proper? Yeah, maybe, maybe a, a little bit. I think that's right in the range, really. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, one what? The baby got 77, 78, somewhere in that range. Yeah, it's something like that. And, and he I, he's not he's a bad rapper. He's not a bad he not a better rapper. Yeah, but, yeah, cause I don't think that he better rapper. He not a better. He, he don't got more creativity than he that nigga. He got the star power. Where you get docked is where you get docked at. You get docked at star power. Yeah, it's just the truth. That's the that'd proof is in the thing, pudding. That be the thing that people wanted to say about the Rico Nasty shit. And it's just like, well, gee, at the end of the day, not a lot of people know no, who Rico yeah, Nasty like, is. And at the end, and that. she that's don't true. got bars. Like, that's where she get docked at. But when you really look at her. It's Great it's artist, I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah. Oh, hey, bro. This is conjecture. I give myself a thirty in the, the overalls if we really being real. Probably lower than that. And that's huh? that's as of the date of the podcast and the episode time. We don't know. Yeah, these right. Artists shit can change. Yeah, yeah, we you not know. fucking fortune tellers. And you niggas that and motherfuckers that be listening that be like. I'll give myself an 80. Shut up, nigga. Ooh. Nobody knows you. Yeah, you know bro. what I'm saying? Niggas just I be putting these like. You gotta be cold to give yourself just an 80 on the bar. Ain't got 300 followers on Instagram. You gotta be cold, gotta be cold. Man. Like, gotta be cold as hell. I think I'm an 80. Man, it's a whole high school niggas. Everybody said I was, I've been sweet since I started. Everybody said it. What? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck type of uh, barometer do you got, nigga? Niggas put it, burn this shit on a jewel CD. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga wanted to. Put that bitch in a jewel case with paper, with uh, copier paper in it, and wrote on it. New, new, new tape, new, new high shit, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, bonfires. <laughs> <laughs> and you recorded on Audacity, nigga. Oh, <laughs> you come on, man.